Hello students, this is Dr. S. D. Himlin Gross, Associate Professor, Department of VZ, R and D Engineering College. Uh, today we can discuss about the topic of uh, basic memory structure, RAM and ROM concepts, and the digital principles and system design subjects. So first, what is a memory? Memory unit. So the memory unit is a device in which binary information is stored and from which information is retrieved when needed for processing. So, or we can say it is a unit uh, of collection of storage cells with associated circuits. So, it stores data in the form of zeros and ones. A word may represent a number uh, for this uh, information. We are representing as word. And each word stored in a memory location is represented by an address. So, a group of 8 bits is comprising a byte. So, these are the basic uh, uh, information which is required when discussing the memory unit. So, there, are, there will be uh, two memories uh, commonly, random access memory and uh, read only memory. So, other than that, there are some ROM is a programmable logic device. So, there are some certain uh, types of other devices also available. So, com uh, combinedly, we can say these are all the memory units which is available in your uh, as a type of memory devices. Okay. So, first we can see about that uh, how it will be having the RAM structure. So, the information can be selectively retrieved from any one of its uh, internal location. As see in the diagram, it has K address lines to address or access uh, 2 power K words in the memory. The memory unit, you have 2 power K words. For that, you require K address lines. It has N input data lines through which data is transferred in and out of the memory. It has two control inputs called read and write. These are the control inputs and one uh, n data output lines. So, this write input causes the binary data on the input output line to be transferred to the memory and the read input causes the binary data in the memory location to be transferred out of memory. Read means transferred out of memory and write means it is transferred to the memory. So, the memory unit is specified by the total number of words in it and the number of bits in each word. So, for k address lines 2 power k words are possible. Okay, so the selection of a specific word inside the memory unit is done by applying the k-bit address, uh, binary address to the address. So based on the address lines, it will be uh, selecting the word. So, the random access memory, the address line select. So, this is one of the typical example it is shown. It is having the memory address from starting from 0 to, so it represents 1k cross 16 memory in this diagram. So, 1k cross 16 memory means uh, it will be having 1K means 1024, so 0 to, 1000, 2, 0 to 1023. So, each word in memory is assigned an identification number called address. Ranges from 0 to 2 power K minus 1. Okay. So, it is, it is the representation. 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. 1 kilobyte equal to 1024 bytes. 1 megabyte equal to 2 power 20 bytes. 1 gigabyte equal to 2 power 30 bytes. And 1 terabyte is equal to 2 power 40 bytes. These are the... Various other ways of representing the memory size. So, what are the read and write operations in RAM? So, write operation, apply the binary address of the desired word to the address line and it is storing the to act in order to, whenever you are activating the write input, the write, it will be selecting the word. And the, whenever you are selecting the read input, that the memory should be, memory enabled should be always one and it will be reading the data from the word. So, types of RAM, there are two types of RAM, static RAM and dynamic RAM. So, what is uh, static RAM and uh, dynamic RAM, we can uh, discuss shortly. So, st static RAM consists of internal latches. Information is available as long as the power is applied and they have shorter read or write cycles. Dynamic RAM. Uh, it stores information in the form of electric charges on the capacitors. And uh, it stores in, uh, this data stored in charge in capacitor tends to discharge with time. And the capacitors must be periodically recharged by refresh, refreshing the dynamic memory. But there will be no refreshing in the static RAM. Reduced power consumption and uh, larger capacity. 
along uh, large storage capacity. So random access memory. Uh, so this this SRAM is stored in transistors, and uh, this uh, DRAM is stored in capacitors. This is the basic difference. First, you should know. And the capacitors uh, that store the data in DRAM gradually discharge. But uh, in this uh, SRAM, because of the continuous power, SRAM doesn't need to be refreshed to uh, remember the data being stored. So mm -hmm. SRAM is called static, has no change of so no, has no change or action. And the dynamic RAM, it is uh, it is changing, right? So dynamic has constant change or action. Okay, so that is refreshing is needed. So this is the RAM memory cell. Uh, see this, the binary cell is modeled as an SR latch associated with the form of uh, in the D latch. So binary cell was only stores only one bit of data. So uh, for a four class four RAM, uh, see the structure how it will be four address lines, four output lines. So its structure should be two power m cross n. Uh, m cross 2 power m decoder is needed to convert it. So that is a 2 cross 4 decoder. 2 inputs means 4, 2 cross 4, 2 power m. And n input lines and n output lines. So 4 output lines, 4 input lines. And each cell will be having storing one, inform one input of information. So totally how many words, uh, bits of information it can store the like this structure 4 cross 4 is, 4 cross 4 RAM is 16. So it is using a decoder also like uh, to implement. It is the structure with 5 cross 32 decoder, 5 cross 32 decoder uh, with the, for enabling the inputs. The total number of gates and the number of inputs per gate can be reduced by using two decoders. In the previous case, uh, compared to this, we can reduce the number of uh, inputs per gate uh, by using two decoders in a two-dimensional selection. So this is RAM. RAM, uh, sorry, ROM. Uh, this ROM is nothing but a uh, permanent storage of binary information. Re uh, read only memory. And this ROM uh, is a memory device. Uh, the binary pattern must be specified by the designer and then embedded in the unit to form the required interconnection. It shows a structure. Usually, the structure should be 2 power n cross m. So, it is, uh, for example, you can see 5 cross 32 means 32 represents 2 power 5 decoder. Okay. So, a ROM is programmed for a particular uh, purpose during the manufacturing function and the user cannot alter its function. So, in this example, I have shown only with 5 cross 32 decoder. Uh, so, this 5 cross 32 decoder will recur 8 or gates. So, how many outputs? It will be having 8 OR gates with 32 inputs and these connections are programmable. In for the programming, programming part, we are we can use fuses. High voltage is applied to blown the fuse. So this is uh, with one example. So how it is to 0, 0, 0 to for 32 bits. Uh, for 32 bits, how it will be programmed with the uh, concerned uh, input specified. For example, uh, see this 0000, zero, zero, zero that is the first line 10110110. So the fused between the first bit and the second bit is not fused as A is 0 and next it is 1, 1. Then so wherever it is having 1, it will be uh, programmed with a fuse. Uh, like this, it is shown with for uh, 32 bit combination. Okay. So how it is implemented in a combinational circuit using a ROM. So you will be given with some min term means how it, you are going to do. So A, B, C are three sele uh, selection lines used are the inputs. So that is three cross eight. These are the inputs. So eight uh, will be the output. So how, how many min terms it is given? Uh, two set of inputs are the outputs are given. So two OR gates are programmed with the specified inputs. So there are several types of rooms available depending on uh, the semiconductor rooms. So bipolar rooms are uh, used bipolar transistor and the MOS room is constructed using MOS based on the construction. So generally it is a mask programming, pro programmable read-only memory, erasable, uh, programmable read-only memory, electrically erasable and uh, programmable read-only memory. So these are the major company, uh, major structures are types of rooms available. Masked room means the very first rooms. Uh, it is the hardware uh, devices using that. It is my pre-programmed set of data. And uh, it is inexpensive done during, only during fabrication. 
uh, and uh, programmable read only memory is a type of read only memory that can be modified only once by an user fuses are blown by high voltage pulses and the user buys a blank prom and enters the desired contents using a prom program inside the prom chip there are small fuses which are banned open during programming and uh, program, prom is programmable in the library as you have seen in the previous uh, structure programmed by using the min terms and the next is the, the e prom once this type of memory can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light for the duration of up to 40 minutes. So UV light is used for erasing up to 40 minutes. And usually a EEPROM eraser achieves this function uh, takes only 40 minutes. Not It is not actually uh, limited. Somewhat plus or minus changes will be there. So during programming, programming an electrical charge is trapped in an insulated gate region. And uh, this will be uh, eraser, eraser whenever it is not triggered. Electrically erasable prog uh, programmable read-only memory, that is doubly prone, is programmed and erased electrically. So it can be erased and reprogrammed about 10,000 times. But erasing and programming take about 4 to 10 milliseconds, very, very few seconds compared to that, that is 40 minutes. But here it is only uh, in terms of milliseconds. Any location can be selectively erased and programmed. So, se selectively can be erased and programmed. So, EEPROMs can be erased one byte at a time rather than erasing the entire chip. So, hence the process of reprogramming is flexible but slow. So, there are certain things available other than that. That is master ROM uh, is uh, having uh, like uh, the detailed structure. But this is uh, enough for your uh, basic concepts of types of ROM. So, we have discussed today. RAM and ROM uh, and the types of ROM. Okay, in the next section, we can discuss about the programmable logic device. Thank you.